I wanted to create a quick video on a few things I wish I knew when I started Baldur Gates 3. Um, initially in the beginning, I kind of played blind and as I further got further in the game, I, I picked up a couple tips and tricks that kind of helped me make the game a little bit more enjoyable uh, and uh, a little bit more understandable in terms of playing the, the game. So one of the first tips I, I, I would like to give is, um, you see this here, you can increase the number of rows you have. Uh, eventually, as you level up your character, you're gonna get more and more skills and you kinda wanna re rearrange it a little bit. Right now, as of right now, this is the max level. You know, you can decrease it and do all that stuff. Um, by clicking this here, so I have a bar. You can unlock the bar and move these skills to different sections in this, this cubicle here. And you can range it, you know, the way you like. I like to have it where my main attack, lacerate, and some of the uh, secondary abilities for the weapon over here, um, reckless attack, frenzy. You know, you can you can do it however you want. Um, but I'd normally just have it like that, or normally for I don't have my spell Indolence breeds too much. madness. If I had a spell well, character, well, 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 I would have been better. But anyways, let's assume she was my spell character. I moved some of the spells like menacing attack. Well, she. Had, and uh, trip tag for her when she uses arrows to kind of separate the two. So again, you can uh, customize this however you want just by unclicking that. It's, it's helped me uh, playing this game so I'm able to see the bar completely. Uh, so that way I know, give me more options during combat since, since it's turn based. Also, when it comes to second tip, when it comes to these potions, you can move slide this down so you can see all the potions you have currently in your inventory. Um, I've played a lot of uh, these uh, pause and click games and I don't necessarily use a lot of these items. I tend to kind of hoard them. I promise myself that I'm actually gonna use them now. So what I like to do is like during combat, I'll kind of look in here and see if I wanna use anything It'll help me give me an advantage in combat this is an option to kind of pull all the way out currently i just have it up to here and uh i use these uh items over here to in order to, in order during combat in order to assist me with that that's another tip I, i've learned you can kind of move that and same for this over here as well another tip when you open up the map uh you'll notice these waypoints as you unlock them they kind of fill up this waypoint bar box over here you can click to you can click on them and fast travel to these different areas instead of having to actually physically go to these points so once you unlock these points you can fast travel on your own and get around and stuff like that it makes it makes traveling the game a lot easier it doesn't take you directly into like emerald grove it kind of just takes you on the outskirts but it's close enough better than having to run all over the map to get back to where you have to get get going uh what else oh another tip and this is from experimentation Still breathing so Despite let's say everything. you have a candle you can drop it like so and in a lot of larian games they really give you a lot of freedom on how you approach combat um, you'll notice that you have the ability to kind of dip your weapon into different sources to give it that a, a special ability or, or, or attribute. So what you can do is you can already have a hand candle on hand, you know, light it, dip your weapon in it, and boom, you got a fire weapon. Now, I heard that these are really good with archers um, to kind of just always have fire arrows because they have that candle. And they can just sit there and just rain down fire. Um, for long periods of time just from, just for having a candle in your inventory um, and it, it kind of saves you money because now you don't have to waste money on spending on these uh, fire arrows right here. like because these things are expensive and you don't want to like you can stock up on them now and you carry a bunch of them because you you have a candle in your inventory I was only able to find one but uh, that's another tip I found out that's been pretty helpful um, it'll very very helpful. I probably should just give that to her. It's gonna be pretty helpful um, if you create an archer class or any distant class or any really it, it helps all the characters so it really can use that for anything. But that's something I picked up uh, as I was playing during the combat and dipped it in the candle no and I was like, well, couldn't yet. I just carry it? And yeah, 
I could just carry it. Another tip, uh, you can sort it just by clicking off this box up here by type, value, latest, weight, etc. Make the inventory a little less clunky. And, oh, just like I was talking to my friend not too long ago, you can hide your helm. So let's say you, you made a really badass looking character like mine. You don't want them wearing these ugly ass helmets. You can just hide it or show him or hide during dialogue and have him just wear it for combat purposes. I don't know why you want to see that. He's wearing it. It's fine. So you can just hide it like that. Same thing for clothes. You can have default, your camping clothes, or the default clothes that you currently have equipped. What else? Um... I think that's pretty action, much the it. Action. I'm still pretty early in the game. I'm still not early. I'm I'm still on the the Torio Island. I'm about a good amount of progress. I made a good amount of progress in this game. I plan on completing this whole map before I move on to the second phase. But these are kind of the tips I've uh, I've picked up during that short period of time I've been playing. Let's get going. Again, if you guys found these tips helpful. You can go ahead and drop a like, drop some comments if I'm missing anything, or if you have any tips you want to add, you can add to the comment sections down below.